Today, we're in Jeremiah chapter 31. Up to this point, much of this book has been a sad story by a weeping prophet describing Israel's rebellion, God's response to that rebellion, and the consequences that God's people would suffer. But here in chapter 31, we finally turn a corner and see a bright view of God's mercy, his compassion and faithful love towards his people. Through God's discipline, they have finally come to a place of sincere repentance. Listen to verse 19 through 20. I turned away from God, but I was sorry. I kicked myself for my stupidity. I was thoroughly ashamed of all I did in my younger days. Is not Israel still my son, my darling child, says the Lord? I often have to punish him, but I still love him. That's why I long for him and surely have mercy on him. God promises to rebuild Jerusalem, redeem his people, and restore their land. We're also given a glimpse into a new covenant that God would make with his people. It is the covenant that we as believers in Christ Jesus have the blessing to experience. But this is the new covenant I will make with the people of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my instructions deep within them and I will write them on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. Jeremiah 31 prophesies of a time when God will not only redeem a nation, but redeem and give rebirth to each individual that trusts in him. It is the foundation of our faith. The author of Hebrews quotes this passage. He set aside the first to establish the second. And by that will, we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. By the sacrifice Jesus made on the cross, he defeated sin for all time. Through him, God writes his word deep within us. We experience new life and he changes us from the inside out. Jeremiah 31 prophesies of the great work Jesus would accomplish long before it took place. It is accomplished and Jesus said, it is finished. And God proclaims in verse 34 of Jeremiah 31, for I will forgive their wickedness and remember their sins no more.